Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lens, and over the last few years we've seen quite a big upswing in the development of cordless garden tools. So many manufacturers are now creating systems of tools where you can use the same interchangeable rechargeable battery across multiple different products. And one company to join on with this bandwagon is Karcher, or Kercher, a company that you're more likely to associate with big bright yellow plastic pressure washers. And we got a few products from their range in to test here. Now before we dive straight into the video, I have to warn you, there are some continuity errors, so let me know if you spot them, they're only really tiny. Now Karcher might be a brand you know best for pressure washers, but its garden tools are actually good. The hedge trimmer we have here is the HGE 18-45, so the teeth are spaced 18mm apart all the way up to 45cm shaft, and the unit itself is actually quite affordable. Its blades are diamond ground and it has the usual two-hand safety system to ensure you don't activate it accidentally. We had a hedge in desperate need of trimming, as you can see here, and despite 18 months of overgrowing, the Karcher cut through it like a hot knife through butter. It didn't struggle with any of the branches, there was perhaps maybe one really thick branch that needed a second go, but then it was just such a quick process overall. The cordless system makes trimming simple, and the wire-free feel you get from the cordless battery-powered trimmer makes it a lot easier to get into the spaces you need to without worrying about electrocuting yourself or cutting through a cable. It was so easy. Now for much thicker branches, or to help trim branches on trees, there's the tree lopper, which is essentially a battery-powered pruning shear for those thick branches that are either too high to reach with just your arm, or too thick to cut through using your own strength. We used it on a couple of thick hedge branches and doing a little trim of the cherry tree just to get rid of some stray branches. It's really easy to use and it does its task as easily as the hedge trimmer did. That's to say it just cut through the branches with no problem at all. Now putting the battery in and switching it out is it's the same across the entire range of products so you can quickly and easily remove it from one by pressing the catch and pushing it into the other one. I think what I like about this system is I can have just that one single battery because I have a relatively small garden. I can just switch between the tools using that same power from the one battery. Now there is a more capacious battery available for those who do have a bigger garden, so you don't have to worry that this smaller one is the only one available. So once I'm done making a mess and I need to get those last stray leaves up, Karsha has a leaf blower and also a blower vacuum, but isn't just a cordless vacuum cleaner for doing those dirty jobs that you don't want your regular vacuum doing, but it can reverse the airflow to act as a blower as well. So the smaller battery got through the trimming the hedge and doing a quick tidy up of the leaves with the blower vacuum and then was starting to run a little low on battery. The LCD on the outside displays how much of the juice is left. So once it is empty, you quickly take it indoors, plug it into its charger, and then that screen on the outside changes to show you how long it's going to take to refill the battery. So there you go, that's just a quick look at some of the Karsha garden tools I've been testing. Of course, they're not the only brand or manufacturer to create these systems of tools where you can use the same battery, but I've definitely enjoyed using this one and it's made my life a lot easier. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. If you want to follow me or ask me questions on there, you can do. I'll see you again soon.